and now we're going into it. We've got a Youngling and Kazuya. Tell me about this. What is this matchup like? So Young Link is going to be using a lot of projectiles. He's a zoner, but he also relies on a lot of combos. But against a character like Kazuya, he's going to have much stronger, better combos that are going to lead to a lot of kills. So a lot of the time, you're going to see these projectiles used to create these openings for Young Link. But in situations where Kazuya has him kind of trapped, it's going to be a big problem for him. Right now, you can see that he's using these projectiles to keep him off stage because that's where Kazuya is going to be like. Yeah, most vulnerable, but as soon as he hits that move there, the electric, that is where um, the fun begins, and he finds these big combos, almost gets a kill there with the, uh, the up out of it as well, but still holding on to our stocks here for both players. Ooh, okay. Oh, almost an early stock in yep. favor. Okay, yeah, that ledge trapping there from Young Link, very, very good there from Jado. Able to find that stock on Kazuya, and now just using these bombs, using the boomerang again to find these openings against Kazuya. Because it does have a reflector too, you don't see it super often, but it might come into uh, into use if we see a lot of these like bombs being reflected. Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, great I love the there. Aggression. The aggression so far yeah. out of the young league, incredible. Up two stocks already, high on percentages, but we're still like the, I love, love the aggression so far. And then instantly gets one back yeah. within one stock now. Yeah, that was a really good call out there, using the up at the ledge. He had a lot of vertical space there, and you could tell that uh, Jado was going to go for the jump of the ledge. So this is definitely still a good situation for Jado, but uh, again, just one hit from Kazuya can lead to a stock. So this aggression that you're seeing is uh, going to work out really well for him, just smothering Kazuya, not letting him find that electric that he's looking for. Oh my gosh, yeah, offstage aggression is insane there from Jado. That was a very swift game. What, what, how long was it? A minute or two we were in that game? Yeah, not yeah. even? Not really and long at all. just. The young like just utterly dominated. Felt like yeah. obviously the one t one stock was taken away, but that's just about all he could get. Yeah. And you talked about like with Kazuya, it's it's that w once he finds the opportunity, he's gonna get that kill off that opportunity. But he didn't give it to him. Yeah, yeah. barely gave it to him. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing with Young Link is he's like a character where you can play him in multiple different styles. So if you play the zoner type of style where you're running away the entire time, that's only going to get you so far. Whereas this aggression is making it very hard for um, for Speedy to find these combos to get a lot of percent. And keeping him in the corner too is making it really hard for him to get because he's like so good at the, or the horizontal play. So if you just keep him in one spot over and over again, he's not going to be able to find those combos. But I do, do like that aggressive command grab there, out of disadvantage. Definitely a good mix-up to keep on hand if you're Kazuya. And this could be a little scary, but I like the patience there just sitting on the ledge. And you do have armor on that as well. So getting off the ledge aggressively against Kazuya, probably not going to work out. We're seeing that there from Speedy, taking a pretty early stock to start this game. Yeah, you talk about uh, that just that little edge that, you, that Kazuya finds, and immediately taking advantage of it there. One stock lead in favor of Speedy here. Okay, yep, you can see that aggression there from uh, from Speedy, though, trying to get come up and find the, uh, oh my gosh, so much damage there, finds the command grab, but you can tell that he's looking for that electric, and it looks like the back throw offstage doing some numbers for him as well, and yeah, it's just so hard for Young Link to make it back, especially when he doesn't have that bomb, but just barely getting back on stage with the up B there. And you can tell me if I'm wrong, but this is a lot more, uh, this is a completely different game for just, yes. I, just the way that these two are playing, Kazuya feels a lot more comfortable in this one, even though he just takes a stock here there, but he's got 100% on this next one. The way ahead of, like, has a good substantial lead for now. It feels like a completely different game than the game we just saw two seconds ago. Yeah, exactly. I think the biggest thing is that Kazuya was able to hold on to that stock for a lot longer, um, that first stock, because we weren't seeing those aggressive combos, but now Jado kind of taking the words out of my mouth and doing it right now has uh, Kazuya offstage without a jump. It, oh, never mind. Well, he makes it back, but still a very high percent and did a great job of tying this up. And yep, there's that combo once again. Gets the uh, the fire arrow into the nair to barely kill there off the side. And now Jado in the lead for the first time this game. You talk about matchups, like, do you think that Young Lee has like, a substantial lead in this matchup? Um, I don't think that I've ever seen a youngling play this matchup so aggressively. Like, I feel like most of the younglings that I watch play it a lot more slower, use those projectiles, and try to stuff out the approaches. But this approach seems to be working really well for Jado instead. Um, only, like, the command grabs catching him off guard, and then if he gets grabbed by the ledge, he's struggling to get back on stage. But as far as neutral, I feel like Jado definitely has the upper hand here. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it, it feels like it's a it's the aggression. Obviously, it's very, like, purposeful. Uh, you, you don't play aggressive not on purpose, especially in these sorts of games. Yeah. Uh, and it's working out perfectly, and it seems like it's almost planned, even though it yeah. doesn't end up working out this time. Speedy takes the final stock here, and it will be a tied series of one-to-one. -one. Now a best of three.
going into these final three sets. Yes, yes, for sure. That's the nice thing about this tournament too, all best of fives, so even games like that, where it feels like you, you make that huge comeback and then end up losing in the end anyway. Don't hurt nearly as much when you have more games to play with, but um, yeah, that I think the like biggest game changer there was using that side B command grab from Kazuya to catch Jado off guard because a lot of the time he's like throwing out these aggressive moves and then flashes a shield or even um, Kazuya just using it out of disadvantage is a great way to like get Young Link off of you and kind of create that space while also adding a ton of extra damage too. Um, talk about map choice. Because that's something we talked a lot about in, when I was on the broadcast earlier. Mm -hmm. What is who who does these maps favor? Like, is there somebody who like this young link really has like an advantage on certain maps or something along those lines? Um, I think Kazuya is always going to prefer a very flat stage, somewhere where he's able to use the uh, the length of the stage to get those combos. Whereas the platform seem to be working out really well for Jado to kind of navigate around the Kazuya running at him constantly. Um, but in this matchup, the way that Jado's playing, the platforms might be more beneficial for Speedy if he's able to use it to get around a lot of these projectiles. There's that combo again, not going to kill just yet, especially with how heavy Kazuya is. But yeah, Jado just very comfortable right now. Um, pretty high lead, but does need to find the stock sooner than later because Kazuya can fire back with a lot of damage. Using that up almost killing with the rage too. Now landing's going to be a problem. Wow. Down air coming in clutch. Just like to the untrained eye, like. It just seems like there's just the raw power out of the Young Link right now. Yeah. Just like, and the speed that they're playing with is, is uh, amazing to watch. It's, it's it's definitely a lot of skill takes a lot of skill put into this, and it's honestly a beauty to watch. Yeah, for sure. No, the, the speed of Young Link is definitely going to benefit him in this matchup. Other than the the burst of the side B from Kazuya, he doesn't have a ton of speed. So if you're just able to outpace him, use a lot of that faster frame data, that's going to be a good way to get in. Uh, but just Holding onto the stock still at one and one too, doing a fantastic job here from Jado. And see the platforms, I was like jumping on the yeah. platforms. That's what's going to benefit as far as the stage choice. Oh, that was scary there for a second. Okay, but he doesn't get it there? No, oh yeah. God. He's super strong, but especially towards center stage, that's not going to be a strong point. A lot of the time, he's going to be using that up out of shield or out of combos in that case, or um, finding a lot of his kills at the ledge. Do you know anything about like these two players, like the background? Nah. I do not. Okay, nope. fair enough. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, as a young one, you talked about you've never seen like, you know, play really just aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, is Kazuya, is this Kazuya kind of a normal, like, how you play Kazuya? Is it like a box? Does it fit the box? Yes, I think. I think the biggest problem, though, is that he's just not getting the space that he needs to play Kazuya the way that he's supposed to with finding these combos. Like, we're seeing a mix of the speeding here, and it feels like Jado is doing a fantastic job of controlling the pace of the game. So when he's choosing to sit back and throw these projectiles, there's not a lot that Kazuya can really do about that, other than like try to run and shield past them or use the platforms. Uh, and so because of like the change of pace, you don't really get to see Kazuya play his own game. Yeah. A lot of the time when Kazuya is playing, it's like a one-player game, and you just have to try not to die. It feels like this, like this, this link obviously has a lot of experience in this not like mm -hmm. playing against Kazuya in this matchup. It, like, it doesn't feel like a raw matchup. And there we go. Game number two goes in favor of Speedy Kill Ninja. And the, just the, the utter dominance of him. Like yeah. No, he's... Oh. Oh, Jado. Oh, my bad. I apparently, I got it mixed up. That one went to Jado, ladies yes. and gentlemen. 2-1 yeah, yeah, yeah. favor and lead it. Two one favor lead in favor of Jada. Words are hard. It makes sense that you would get them confused though, because we were just talking about how fast the yes, young is playing and exactly. he's speedy. No, so you're valid. You're valid. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> going into this game four, we're going to be on small battlefield, so the uh, the platforms are going to be a little bit closer to the ledge on the stage than in PS2. I think it's a little bit smaller, but pretty similar layout. So again, those platforms are going to be a benefit or Young Link most likely tries to get the extension there off the platform too, but I like that DI out from um, from Kazuya, and it just seems like Jado is just running away with this one so far. Really hard for Kazuya to get in, and I love these combos that we're seeing where you see like the bomb hit, and then we follow up with like a bear or an air, just getting that extra damage and putting Kazuya in a pretty bad spot. Ooh, my gosh, he didn't get touched that entire time. I mean, almost a zero to death, <laughs> yeah. like so very close. Um, and it's just it's just a testament to the speed. I, I, Speedy is almost like the wrong name for this matchup. Yeah. It, it feels like awkward. Um, but I think it's just Jado playing 
extremely well here and just it feels like he's got speed in a corner and there's not really much My to do. Gosh, that was so good, just able to confirm all of those back to back to back to get so much damage. You get Kazuya off stage again, and then now you have all these projectiles to deal with the ledge. But the ledge or the uh, the platform coming in clutch there for Speedy able to use it to recover, but not gonna help him out there when he has to face what that down. What does he have to do to win this? Like to come back. Find an this. electric and kill off of it. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, just you have to make sure that when you are finding your hits because Young Link is creating so much chaos to get around. When you do get that hit, you have to kill off of it. So he's just gotta find the priest. Ooh, okay. Exactly, yeah, find the Achilles heel, which is gonna be that electric, just being able to hit him with it, but yeah, just struggling to find an in. This could be it though, gets the jab instead though. Okay, big damage. Ooh, and kills off the top too. Okay, that's it. That's a great example there of like using the side B to find the kill, but now you're at 122 and you're down to stock. So this is a pretty rough situation. Definitely winnable with Kazuya. He's like one of the few characters that I would not count him out, but still rough. Especially if he keeps letting the grabs like that. I can't see it happening that much, but he's gotta get he's gotta get this map here. It's Ooh. down to two one. That will probably be the guess, it will yeah. be the finishing blow. Three one victory in favor of Jado to start out our yeah, Jado's uh, tech chasing there was fantastic because we saw earlier that he like landed the down air to, t to take the kill, but then was ready with the follow up on the tech to to, uh, to find the up for the stock. So really good stuff there. I really like the way that Jado was using the platforms, you know, create drop off with the back air too. Yeah, that's so good. That aggressive high recovery. It, I have to say, like as a, as a spectator, not really into it, but like how yeah. you know the game, and you can just sit here. And, oh, I like, you physically enjoy yeah. it. That's yeah. so nice. It's, and it's like I don't know what's going on, but yep. knowing that you're enjoying it means that it has to be good. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely get that. I've been playing a while, so I I get to watch a lot, and I've seen very bad gameplay, and I've seen very good gameplay, and definitely uh, Jado showcasing the uh, the good gameplay. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm like barely on camera. And, and we're both like so incredibly. Yeah, I know. Here. It's like white. We're actually in heaven right we're now. Like <laughs> we're we're both angels, actually. It's so We've true. come to def yep. descend upon you and let you know that this is some excellent Smash gameplay we have here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So true. They need to make it the Pro Smash Player Hall of Fame. Well, we could do both. True. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's got to be some football players that play Smash. Yeah, and I'm, I, I assume there are Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, he plays yeah. Smash. Yeah, he plays Ness. I'm from Cincinnati. So really? Yes, me yes, too. Le'Veon Bell apparently will be here at some point oh, today. Oh, true. I forgot about that. Alternate. Yeah, I saw that. Sorry, I'm like. Try to get some. We're trying to adjust the camera.